During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little bit about the environmental aspects of tiling. Does it harm the environment? Does it do good for the environment? We've gotten lots of questions about this because we're doing so much tiling on our farm. Well, drainage tile is simply, in many cases, a hose, a perforated hose, that farmers place about three to five feet deep in soil. So as water lands on top of the ground, it soaks down through the soil and eventually ends up getting into this perforated if, tile. If there's too much water, that's the thing. The point of tile is it's only there to remove excess water. So as long as there's only some water that's getting into the soil, it's no issue, the tile isn't even running. But if there's excess water, that's what ends up in the tile. The whole reason why we want to do this, it's just like if you have a plant in your house in a flower pot, if you overwater that thing, what happens? Instead of you saying, well, if a little water's good, a lot more water must be great, uh, it doesn't work that way. There's a limit to how much water you can have. Well, soil, the way nature is set up, soil acts as a natural filter. So as water moves down through soil, it filters out anything that's not pure. So as water moves down through and ends up in a drain tile, you end up with some very pure water. In fact, we've done some drainage tile water quality tests on our farm. The water coming out the end of a drain tile, in some cases, is clean enough to put right into bottled water. Yeah, in fact, when we were over in Israel in March, right on the bottled water label, they told us all the different things that were in there from the nitrate levels to the levels of calcium and magnesium and everything else. And I read through that whole label and I thought, I don't really know if I want to drink this so bad, but I got home and checked it out and it was all within U.S. water quality standards. Well, it was funny because when we pulled some of these water samples out of our drain tile, it was as good, if not even better quality water than that stuff we were drinking over in Israel. <laughs> I mentioned that soil acts as a filter and the things that it's filtering out are soil that could be eroding, pesticides, fertilizer, all those things we can keep in the field as we filter them out with soil and let the water escape through well, drainage tile. Well, think about it this way, okay? If, if ground is totally saturated and you can't get any more water in, when you get a two inch rain or even a one inch rain, where does it go? It has no choice but to run off the field. And along with that, it, it will have, you'll have more erosion, you'll have fertilizers, pesticides, everything can move off the field. That's not good for anybody. We don't want that as farmers because that's lost money. And anybody downstream, they don't want that because that's bad for the environment. With tile, what we're doing is we're allowing soil to work like it should as a natural filter. So when that rain comes, it can soak into the ground and then you don't have all those things going off the field. One of the people who owns land just downstream of us from where we're doing some tiling, is in the medical profession. It has really nothing to do with farming. And I, I just said, yeah, we want to do a little bit of tiling and some of this water would drain into the dam that's on your property. And he said, well, just tell me this one thing. Would it mean more erosion or less erosion? And I said, absolutely less erosion. And he goes, well, then sign me up. I'm okay. Well, it is a good thing, drainage tile. And, and if you're a little unfamiliar if with it. If it's done right. Yep, it's got to yep. be done if right. If you're doing it right. And one thing that you could look at just on your own farm, and I know I have this around my farm. I have drainage tile right around the foundation underneath my house. And these lines run right into my sump pump area. So I'm able to take excess water that comes around my home that gets down in the ground four or five feet deep, run it all into my sump pump, and that's what goes away. So I don't have water getting in my basement. Uh, you probably have the same thing on your, in your home. Uh, just take a look where your sump pump's at in your basement and see if you've got some drainage tile running right into it as well. Well, drainage tile, if it's done right, is good for the environment. And another thing that's good for the environment is controlling harmful weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this one later in the show.